Hi everybody, how are you all doing? Here's another video on the Just Right Avro RJ about RNAV approaches. Can it do it? Yes, it can. Uh, here's how we do it. Um, we've loaded in a flight from London City to um, Jersey. We're at about 30 miles out, the same as Post, just so I can explain this here what we're going to do. And we're flying in from the north. North. Uh, the RNAV is in the FMS, the RNAV approaches the 08, we're going to join Lafayette at 2,000 feet. In Kipto, we're going to go to JJ08 Foxtrot here, and that will be the start of the descent, the glide path of 3 degrees, down to the runway to the missed approach point, which will be at 630 feet, because we're not sadly LPV, not sadly, because then there'll be no work, but we're not LPV or LNAV, VNAV capable on the descent here so we are LNAV capable and we have a cool feature that's been added which is a VNAV approach or um, in the FMCBC or better said this is called um, AVNAV now this is from the um, the operations manual for the Avro um, a temporary revision it seems like this uh, was in, in the real aircraft was a quite a late on addition so this is like a bit of a retraining retraining so here we go advisory VNAV AVNAV non-precision approaches now we get to the interesting bit how do I use the advisory VNAV on scale deviation scale on the AVNAV scale on the ND the emphasis is on the word advisory here so uh, that's important to know. You need to manually maintain the um, descent profile by using vertical speed, which we'll show you. And um, as the FMS VNAV outputs are not coupled to the autopilot or flight director, and you're not allowed to use in real life AVNAV or LNAV until you're authorized. So when we activate the um, VNAV approach here in the FMC, see it's in magenta here, it's off, so we'll put it on soon. We will um, get then a deviation scale, scale here when we're in arc or mo uh, rose mode, which we'll explain in a moment. And then, as you can see here, the scale will appear um, for these approaches only if the VNAV approach selection has been made in the FMC, which I just showed you. It appears again when the FMS transitions into its missed approach, blah, blah, blah. The scale shows an aircraft position relative to the approach slope defined in the database. This one. This three degree angle here. Okay, um, and it says if the white diamond is full scale deflection up or down, it's 200, you're 200 feet below or above the path. Um, Good, you should be maintain, maintaining the path within 100 feet once you have acquired it. The AVNAV scale is important on the final approach. It's not unlike the dots on the ILS flight path, but sensitivity stays constant in this case, so it cannot be flown in the same manner. Okay, I'm not going to read too much about that. Don't concentrate your attention on the vertical deviation on the VNAV page. That isn't modelled in this uh, this version of the aircraft. It's um, deviation from the uh, inner vertical speed on in the FMC. Um, both pilots should be using the primary primary flight in instruments or looking out. There we go. Let's see how that works. Uh, so let's unpause the sim and um, we're at 270 knots. Yeah, we'll keep that at the moment. We don't want to get to um, make the video too long. Now we've just passed our. We'll go to VNAV page. We've just passed our um, Alderney. We're 13,000 feet set in here in the VNAV. The next step down is to 2,000 feet at Lafley on our VNAV on our manual VNAV path. So we'll do vertical speed again. I'll do 2,000 feet a minute to get her into a descent, and then we'll just let the green. Um, green arc, settle down and see when we're going to get 2,000 feet, but there's no panic because um, we only need to be at 2,000 feet here, we can we can be a little bit 
guess a little bit higher here anyway that's uh, for another day so what do we need to do we're going to go here to the init ref page we're going to turn on vnav approach um, now we should get soon here an fms approach green annunciator um, let's just go to the arc mode uh, the deviation scale hasn't appeared yet i think you've got to be within a certain distance of the airport and uh, or um, of the, the initial approach fix or the final approach fix i wouldn't worry about all those details too much just the main thing is that it arms or turns on now let's slow down a little bit we're at going to 10,000 feet here and if the plane struggling to come down we're looking good on the altitude don't forget we have speed or air brakes. Let's throw them fully out and show you those babies. There we go. Look at that. And that will slow you down crazily. Look at that. Let's put them back in. <laughs> there we go. So, how are we looking? We'll get ready in a moment for um, planning. It's a little bit cluttered here with the range rings. Let's uh, remove one of those there let's go to the uh, fixed page here I'm gonna delete the 30 mile one which is that one there good let's go back to the init ref page let's just do a check we're gonna be flaps 33 190 B ref that's what we've got in the FMC here it's just a recommendation here so but we want to put in I'm gonna put in yeah uh, I'll put it in a little bit faster. I'll put one, two, four, put plus five knots on top of that. That's what will show up later on the um, speed. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got approach enabled, V nav enabled, three degree, three degree glide slope. Uh, we're not going to be using. We're going to be using for the approach L nav and vertical speed. Okay, and we'll get prepped for that right now. Yeah, we're looking good for 2,000 feet at Lapley, more or less. We're a little bit fast, so can't put the nose down. Speed brakes, one notch. Got air brakes, I keep calling them speed brakes, but air brakes. Spoilers. Sorry, air brakes. Um, okay, so what do we need to do? What's our descent looking like? Got to make a decision here. Let's say. Let's go right in the middle here, 150 knots down the glide path until we're visual. How's that sound? So we're on this line here, right between 743 feet per minute and eight. So let's say 750 and 850. So 800 feet a minute. We're looking for. We want to be fully, pretty fully configured here at the descent point, and then go down at 800 feet a minute, 150 knots, and that should keep us pretty well on this glide path so now we're just waiting for oh, didn't do the barometer to walk in there I'm not below the uh, is our weather on now we don't have um, don't have active sky on let's get that on so um, yeah going to be exactly here look that's how we can do VNAV in this thing just have to use this arc here with vertical speed Okay, great. Now we're coming into a little bit nearer range. We can zoom in a bit more so we can see what we're doing. Let's slow down a bit. Let's say 210 knots. Okay, let's pull the nose up slightly. It should get us nicely here. So, how are we doing? Um, we have the LMAV. Now we've got the barometer set. That's great. And we're just waiting here for the FMS app to appear. And then we're looking for the deviation scale here. Still not slowing down, but that's okay. So we've always got the speed brakes, air brakes. Come on, let's throw them out again. This is fun. You can slow down like crazy. 
thousand feet to go to two thousand feet level off. Yeah, don't want to panic now, do we? We can uh, put the nose up a little bit to slow down. Let's put it eight hundred feet a minute. See how that gets us. So this is how we do the R nav. How's it looking for weather? Perfect. An approach like this is much better when you see nothing. All that uncertainty is great, isn't it? Okay, um, so where are you? FMS. I'll put it on here, just double check. Yep, it's on. Approach is on, approach enabled is on. Yep, wire in 2000 feet. Good. Let's go to 180 knots around the corner. Put the flaps out in a minute to slow down even more. There we go, going around the corner. We're just waiting for the uh, advisory now to appear. Or do I have to be in this mode here? No, no I don't. I'm just waiting for the enunciator to appear. Speed check. Flaps 80. Thank you. Perfect. 18. Just double check, you know how it is. Then uh, wait to root. Departure, arrival. Speed checked. It's geared. Yeah, we've got that selected. That's all good. So, here we go. Just waiting for the advisory to appear now. Exciting, isn't it? There we go. A little late, but it came in. There we are, FMS approach is in now. Now we're going to be uh, at 150 knots. No time to do that. Stupidly, let's go clear down the next stage of flap. And we can set the missed approach at 600 feet or 700 feet for a little bit of a buffer. And then we're passing J. There we go, let's get the advisory on. There we go. Now we should be going down at 800 feet a minute, we said. Huh? 150 knots, which we are. Fantastic. So flaps 30. There you go. You see just the um, the diamond got away from us just a little bit here. The glide path, but that's okay. Like the manual says, this is 200 feet. So 100 feet is in the middle. Stay within 100 feet. Great, and now this is the bit I like. Now it's just adjusting. You know, we um, we're a little bit above the diamond, so let's stick another hundred feet per minute on. See what happens. This should now come up. There we go. She's just climbing up, is she? Yeah, that's great. Let's see the heading book. Yeah, that's a little slow for my liking. So we'll just go a thousand feet a minute. Flaps 33. That's good. Now we're coming. See nothing again, not much. I did see a runway, but I don't want to see anything. I'm trying to do this um, as much automation as possible. Now we go back to 800 feet a minute, and this three degree slope now should be maintained as per chart at 150 knots. 1, Looks great. 1,000. Thanks a lot. Okay, now we're clear here. Let's go landing lights on. And. There we go. We look a little bit low, but the pappies in Microsoft Flight Sim are a little bit dodgy to say the least. But there we go. We are, we are now manual. Let's uh, get our throttles a little bit up. And disengage the auto throttle. There we go. Looking good. I'm just going to slow down a little bit. There we go, super, that was fun. 
really love it. The VNAV advisory, we can also use it here, but we should be visual at this point. It gives us a good good idea where we're going to be. I'm a little fast, of course. Always talking, but that was my excuse. And we've got the air brakes, of course. 100 feet. Air brakes out. Air brakes out. Thank you, co pilot. There we go. Slowing down nicely. Idle. Flare up. Great, nice Great still to always. Spoilers, yellow and green. Thank you, spoilers out, check. Brakes, manual brakes. Super, this is so much fun, this plane. Love this. Next up um, is going to be an NDB approach, which is even more minutes. work. Fantastic. There she is. All, the, all we need now is a parachute, and then we've got the full works. That'll be amazing. Look at that. Great, okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Another version of the ramblings again, but um, just gives you the idea. I'm not a professional pilot, that's clear. But uh, yeah, constructive tips in the um, comments would be great, of course. Like I say, talking, you can't keep your eyes on everything. Um, I'm just showing you how that works again. Great on-app approach, RJ. Super, see you.